Joining us now on the set of Aging Gracefully is Father William O'Malley. He's an author, a teacher, author of this book right here, You'll Never Be Younger. Um, good news, spirituality for those over 60. Thank you so much for being with us, Father O'Malley. Thank you for letting me. Is that um, one of the keys to aging gracefully, is having a good attitude? Oh, it's, it's absolutely essential. Because if you, if you get up in the morning expecting it, to be lousy, yeah. it's amazing how lousy it's <laughs> yeah. going to be. And if you, if you say, well, <clears throat> I'll wait and see, you're going to be surprised all the time. Yeah. Somebody's going to say, hi, you look terrific. Even if you don't look terrific, <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> I mean, in my case, I can't look terrific. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready for, if they, if they don't go, <laughs> <laughs> then I really feel terrific. I'm yeah. starting the day fine. In, in spirituality, uh, over 60, uh, I, I know uh, we've talked about this during the course of this series too, but w when do you start planning for your spirituality and retirement? Is there, is there some ongoing lifelong process? or I don't think many people do. Yeah. And I think, it, really, I think it's a terrific idea. I think it's like <coughs> adolescence. Now, adolescents are getting prepared to face that seismic change yeah. from the time they're eight or nine. And nobody seems to be able to, I would think a parish could do that, yeah. to help people when they start getting in their 50s, to start thinking about the fact that <coughs> we have not here a lasting city sooner or later you've got to pull it all together. And it's wonderful if you can pull it all together and say, hey, I didn't do a bad job at all. And I think there's so many people, see, being Irish, I, I know everything is bleaker than it could possibly <laughs> I know be. that too. <laughs> so it's, it's good, especially for Irish people to say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, too, that people talk about when they're younger is how they, they, they want to live a long life. But yeah. then when it starts getting closer and closer, then people start to, to get a little nervous, too. That's because the body tells you that you're not in charge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there some good ways to prepare for that or get Pre your... Prepare for the body thing? Prepare for the body, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I never was... A, I was I, can I use the word jock on television? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I never was a jock, and look what happened to me. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think you can't get too concerned about it, because then you get silly, stupid, uh, terrified, uh, afraid to, to take any chances. And... Taking chances is really, it's, it's like, it makes life exciting. Mm. And life becomes so dull when you don't want to be bothered. And there's so many people who, the only thing they want is not, just don't bother me. Yeah. And <sighs> yeah, yeah. And we, when we, we talked about... Um, spiritual plan and uh, you know when when we talk about getting older too and the the aches and pains that come along with that too how how do you sort of use that spiritual plan to sort of get through those aches and pains of of aging and sort of get your focus on the right path Do you want a simple answer sure <laughs> look at a crucifix yeah hmm. i mean jesus knew what he was doing he knew it was coming, but he did it with dignity. Mm. And if you can hang on to your dignity, being silly also, but if you can hang on to your sense of your own value, I mean, God did not have to create you. Mm. He did not have to create me. Miles, maybe yes. <laughs> <laughs> but how lucky 
we had a chance to be here at all. And so many people spend their, they, first of all, they didn't need to be invited. And they, they spend the rest of their lives griping the amenities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, they put me at a table next to the kitchen. Oh, she's got a better dress than I have. Oh, what a face. Why could, wasn't I blessed with that face? You know, I've got a face like the Burma Road with all the tire tracks are going, <laughs> going both directions. But <clears throat> i got a face. Mm -hmm. I'm so lucky, and I'm so lucky to be a priest. I'm so lucky that I've been typing all my life, and I've taught about 5,000 kids. Can you imagine anything, a greater privilege yeah. than have 5,000 Five thousand minds yeah. when you can screw them up and, <laughs> and, and make them see how fantastic it is to be puzzled. Mm. How awful it would be if everything was routine every single day, like having the same meal every day, meeting the same people every day, when all of a sudden somebody new comes along and it's like something blossoming. Yeah. Am I being poetic? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what See that? You surprise even yourself. What blossoms for you now that you're older, Bill? Getting up in the morning. <laughs> 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 it, it is. It mm. really is. When I wake up in the morning, I, I say thanks. It's the first thing I say. Yeah. Because I didn't have to wake up. I mean, just think of the thousands, the millions of people who didn't wake up, and I did. Mm. And so what's the first word that comes in your, in your mind? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And life, I think, really is, is, if you know how to handle it, if you know how gifted you are, every day it's, it's wow. Yeah. That's a great way to end this segment. We're going to come back with more with you <laughs> in just a you're little not, bit. You're not going to punch me around <laughs> no. or anything like that. We're going to be